Xiaoqiu thinks she has nothing to hide. Let me see. Everybody's got something to hide. Like, would you want them to post your entire browser history online? Everything you looked up with Google? Bondage, yeah. amphetamine, just... <laughs> I mean, okay. Bieber. Yeah, I feel a bit naked thinking of all my browsers they posted online, but but still, I mean, they would think they just use the information for the purpose of the website, right? So we get very upset when our information transgresses uh, context, and it has a very good reason. Um, we feel violated. We feel that information that was formerly uh, intended for a very particular audience, say a friend, ends up in the hands of, uh, or in the eyes of your employer, which is a completely different social context. It's, it's a symptom of a privacy violation that it's that is much more abstract, namely the fact that your information is being decontextualized. Yeah, I'd like to think so, but what if they like take my client's information? Like all the stuff about all these celebrities, I'd be screwed. Uh, you can use uh, information in another context, but you're not allowed to simply copy it. You can have links to the information and you have to be careful that you don't not use it in a way that it's not beneficial to the person who posted the information. Did you even read the agreement when you downloaded this app? To be honest, no, I did not. You didn't? No, I mean, like you've ever checked the agreements when you download an app on your phone, right? Nobody does. No, I don't, but you know, like, this is giving them access to your entire life. The agreements of uh, social media platforms can be very misleading. The law does protect us to a certain extent, but uh, these are uh, American companies, so that's one restriction to the protection we have on the law. Uh, and another restriction is that they've tried to find the, the borders of the law uh, and, and try to give themselves as much rights uh, as possible. But still, like, everybody's using it. We think if, if they would do that, nobody would use the product anymore. Yeah, right? like everybody's using it is not an excuse. I mean, even if they don't do anything with your information, like they could get hacked. Like the cheater website, Ashley Madison. Yeah. 39 million people's information is out there. So what happened with Ashley Madison could happen with all of us. Try and envision now that hackers attack Google and that they succeed in getting all of the data from Google and then dumping it to BitTorrent. All of our emails, all of our search queries, the contents of our calendars, even the contents of our Android phones. All of a sudden, it would be like, uh, everybody in the world at once, their clothing spontaneously combusted, and we all found ourselves walking around the next day naked. Everybody naked? I forgot about that one, yeah. actually. Yeah. Do, we, do we trust these companies too much? Maybe we all do, dear.